Yeah, I don't know. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So we actually have some spiders I'm gonna be unboxing tomorrow and I wanted to grab some enclosures for them first. So we're at the container store and I thought I would just bring you guys in to show you since I know a lot of you really like my enclosures and you ask me where I get them from all the time. So yeah, let's go get some enclosures. Okay, so my favorite kind of enclosures, well, boxes to use as enclosures are Amok boxes. I definitely need these bigger ones. Can you go get me a basket? Do a couple of things. Ooh, this is like, this is like a really thick. Thick. Yeah, I don't know where this came from. Thick box. It's really nice though, but it, if it had magnets, I'll take a couple of these too. Oh my God, one of those for the crickets would be hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's go to the other wall because there were smaller sizes I wanted. Oh, that's so cool. All right, definitely take a couple of these. <laughs> um, and probably just a couple of these too, just in case. All right, I think I think we're pretty set. It's like $30 for that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Put all your spiders in drawers. <laughs> Now all we have to do is wait for the spiders to get here. So it is the next day and the trapdoor spiders are both here. From my understanding, they are both native to California and I don't really know too much about the two species. However, Peter from Bugs in Cyberspace did want to send them to me. So thank you so much, Peter. I will link his channel and his website down below. But before I show you the spiders, I do actually have a piece of mail from my PO box. This is actually from somebody on my Patreon. So thank you so much, Stella. Oh my god, I am so I am so excited about this. This is so cool. Stella's whatnots. So I'm guessing she designs these. This is so cool. It's a little jumping spider that you actually make. And I personally am like somebody who's a little artistic and crafty. So this kind of thing I totally love. Thank you so much. When I finish it, I will post it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me. It's at Trangely.cat. And anyway, on to the spiders. So this is the first one. I'm a little concerned because it's super cold outside. This is the A. Miwok. Aptostis Miwok is a species of spiders in the family Euctonizid named after the Coast Miwok Indian tribe known to have inhabited the coastal areas of California from the Golden Gate northward prior to European settlement. Um, let me get my tongs. I will go ahead and put some holes in these later for ventilation. For now, I just want to get them in these really quick and make sure they're okay because like I said, it's so cold. Let's just go ahead and open it right in here. See what we have. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Oh my God. We need a better look of this. It's just running in circles. This is such a cool trapdoor spider. I've never seen one of these, obviously in person. This is my first time. Oh my goodness, so fast for a little trapdoor. I really expected it to be moving much slower, but nope, it just came right on out, ready to party. <laughs> so since this is a little bit bigger than I thought, I'm gonna give it a little bit bigger of an enclosure. So let's set that up. Yeah, as you guys see, it cannot climb. Like it, it literally cannot climb this. It can just kind of chill here for a second while I get a larger enclosure. So I'm actually going to do this. It's like the same size on the top, which is fine. But as you see, that has a lot more space. And this way, it'll just have more room to do spider things. Okay, yeah, check that out. That'll be better. So it has more space to burrow down. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I think maybe uh, just a little paintbrush action here. We'll get it. Kind of curious if it's defensive at all. It's Nope, it just runs from it. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty easy to rehouse ones that just really can't climb. Wow. Really happy with this. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Look at it, it's digging already. Wow, that's so cool. It's already making a burrow. Now you just see. <laughs> 
Now you just see a butt. Okay, well, it was nice getting to know you. We have another two in box. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same size or anything. Don't worry, I'm gonna do some ventilation up here. First, let's make sure the other little one's okay. All right, so this one is another, and it's from California. Aptostis stephen colberti is a species of spider in the family Euchnizid, named after the American satirist Stephen Colbert. The spider was discovered on the California coastline in 2007. A. Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colberti. <laughs> I like Stephen Colbert. That's pretty cool. According to their calculations, Spider-Man should not be able to climb walls. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. I thought the other one would be too cold to do anything. Oh, this one's webbed up. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not, it's not. Are you okay? Uh-oh, I don't know how this one's doing. Yeah, I don't know. It might be really cold. Or it might just not have made it, I don't know. <gasps> it's alive, oh my God. Oh my God, it is alive. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. You guys, it was not moving at all and it was just curled up. If you guys remember, I have the Chinese hourglass trapdoor and if you remember that unboxing, it completely played dead and even Tom warned me before he sent it that that would play dead and then like pop alive. And as I was like just kind of pulling that webbing off, it just popped alive, like totally fine. Um, wow, that is crazy. Um, I'm glad I didn't use my fingers because even though I really thought that it was a goner, it was very alive. So let's get a better look at this because I am very intrigued. Look at it, it just totally plays dead until it doesn't want to play dead anymore. Yeah, hi. Oh, wow. So yeah, this is from California and it's just really cool. California has some amazing trapdoors. I know there's one named after Barack Obama and it's not in the hobby yet, but it looks really cool. But yeah, then I guess this one's named after Stephen Colbert. And then of course, you know, there's others out there as well, but I'm gonna remember the celebrity named ones probably a little bit better just because it's familiar to me. But check this little one out. They both go right to building their trapdoors, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how often we're gonna be seeing these, but I am hoping that they both build some really cool trapdoors and we can get some cool feeding clips since my Chinese hourglass is just always, you know, gone, gone. But yeah, um, look at this. It's already, where did it even, I don't even know where it burrowed. Oh wait, is that it? Is that it or is that a rock? I can't even tell. It's already disappeared. But yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. The Miwok's a little bit bigger than the Stephen Colbert. -y. But yeah, that's really cool. I'm so happy. I, I honestly thought this one was a goner. So I'm very relieved that they both made it to me okay. Again, these were um, gifted. They were sent from Bugs and Cyberspace, Pet Bug Sales. And yeah, like I said, he has a YouTube and a really nice website with like a ton of different like feeders and stuff too on it. So Isopod stuff like that. So thank you so much, Peter. I really appreciate these. I feel like I need to learn a little bit more about both of them before I kind of give any care advice or whatever. But because they're both trapdoors from California, I'm just guessing they like dirt. So that's where we're going to start for now. And we'll get a little bit more in detail once I do a little bit more research on their specific needs, if they have any. So really, really cool. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget
forget I'm on Instagram news. Probably way too much. It's at turnishilla.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. And it's all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks. <laughs>